This has been a dream of mine for so long. <laughs> at Magic Kingdom once again. I have a boarding group for Tron, which has already been called, so I'm heading over there right now. For once, I timed something perfectly. There's a website out there that will kind of give you an idea of when your boarding group is going to be called. So I consulted that and uh, it seemed that boarding group 84 was called at 2.15, which is just about perfect. So I'm heading over there right now to ride Tron for the first time. Uh, there's the people mover. I'll be going on that later for sure. There's the, what I always call these star jets. I don't think they've been called the star jets in a long time, but hey, I'm old school. I still call them, still call them the old, old star jets. And here's the entrance to Space Mountain. The wait time's only 70 minutes. And then we have the gift shop over here, which is all Tron related. Maybe I can just cut through this real quick. I want to stop and look at the stuff in there so bad, but I'll just I'll just wait till after my ride's over because I, I can't wait to go on this. Oh man, that's my first view of the completed try. Oh man, that's so awesome. I've always been a huge Tron fan. In fact, I can prove it. Here's what's left of my Tron Magic Band. I'm actually using the puck out of it now, but uh, it broke but I still have it. There it goes. Wow, this is pretty cool, man. I'm gonna come back here later when it's nighttime and check it out at night. It's quite a slog getting up here. You gotta walk all the way around, all the way around to get, to get up here. Oh look, there's the train. Well, I mean, that's the tunnel where the train goes. Oh, here it goes. Booster again. There's the, uh, the, the demo bikes, if you want to try them out. And up there is the shrinking laser. Looks a little different than the one in the movie, though. The one in the movie is, uh, well, like 30 years old. That looks brand new. For your safety in this world, all users should be in good health. You should be free from high Oh, here we go. Uh-oh. Okay, this is cool. Users, prepare to be digitized into the world of Tron. saw the one bike just launch there. I was not in a good position to film it though, as I usually never am. There it goes, I got it that time. Also, I see over here, there's Flynn's disc. That's the one that Clue wanted so badly. That's it right there. Everybody who comes here, the users are Team Blue. Of course, I'm wearing red. <laughs> I always wear red, I always wear Cardinals, wherever I go pretty much. Oh man, there it is. There it goes. There's the car. That's the extra car at the end for folks that can't ride the regular, uh, regular cycle. Oh, and then here's mine. Ooh, coming in, coming in hot. All right, gotta gotta put you in here now. Here we go.
awesome. It really was. Man. I mean, I like Guardians of the Galaxy, but for pure speed and adrenaline, this this one has it, man. I, I, I don't know. I don't know which one I could say I like better. This one or Guardians. Guardians is fun, but this one is just... Mmm! Yes! And then kind of a little bit away from the ride is this Energy Bites thing. It's kind of over here. It's kind of a weird spot to put it. I would have thought they would have put this, you know, closer to the ride or something. But, you know, it works. All right, now I'm going to go into the Launch Depot, which has totally been taken over by Tron. Ooh, look at that. I like this already. This is nice. How much is that thing? 100 bucks. I don't know. It's sweet, though. It's a really awesome jacket. I wonder if it glows in the dark. I bet it does. We got some identity discs here. Ooh, this has got some good weight to it. Mm. That would be 70 bucks for that. And then you can get these little identity chips. I guess they go, do they go inside here or something? I'm not, I'm not sure how that all works, but that chip is uh, 15 bucks. They come in different colors too. And then these are the uh, action figures that I think you can put your face on yourself. And I think they do that over here. You go in that booth there and get your face scanned and this is a remote control light cycle that's cool check out well you kind of can't with that glare but that's the uh the remote here how much is that thing that would be 70 bucks for that and they have these limited edition pins it says uh 1000 does that mean that's they only made a thousand i find that highly dubious that's a 60 dollar pin 60 dollars for that pin so this is a keychain but i can't figure out what it is it's just a big old weird block of plastic that will apparently run you 15 bucks i don't know what it is but it, it, it's a thing i like this better though this is cool this is a die cast light cycle i have a couple in my game room this one is going for 20 bucks and if you want to get mugged there's plenty plenty here 25 bucks to get mugged by tron and here's another bunch of mugs. I kind of like these. This one looks really cool. Programs on the side. That would be 17 bucks. That's not actually too bad for that. Inside it says, end of line. <laughs> and here we have some keychains. Although I kind of feel like this one here might be a little too obtrusive in my pocket. Is that a joystick in your pocket? Or are you just happy to see me? <laughs> That's going for 17 bucks, by the way. And here's a big old pile of tokens. Awesome. All we need is an arcade machine to play. Flynn's Arcade right there. Oh yeah, that looks great. Check that out. And if you want one of those tokens, they're only three bucks. And they also come in gold. Oh no, I kind of like the silver though. That's kind of what I expect to see a token to look like. But gold is cool. And then here's some vintage style figures here. Let's see how much this light cycle is going for. It took me a while to find it. $70. Pricey. But at least I got the vintage identity frisbees, I mean discs, and they're going for 10 bucks. Hopefully these glow in the dark, that would be so cool. And this is like a vintage looking kind of arcade machine, but it has the characters inside. And you know, the interesting story about Tron is that the game actually made more money than the movie did. And that's gonna cost you an even 120. And I see they got some hats too. This one says game on, 30 bucks. And it's one of those mesh trucker hat deals. But it does have Tron there on the back. That's cool. And then they also have these hats, too. These are cool. Live to ah, drop things on the ground. Race. That's what it says. Live to race. 30 bucks as well. And they also have these Tron backpacks. These are cool. You can actually put your disc on there. It's neat. It's going to be $55. Might be cool to wear this around Dragon Con. Okay, so this is cool. You can actually get yourself a custom-made phone case with Tron on there. I need like the vintage Tron or the vintage, I don't see any vintage Tron here, but they also have custom made magic bands, which that's the classic style of magic band like I have. I just need a blue one, but I could do Tron on there too. Maybe put my name on it. That's, that's kind of neat. So here we go. Touch to start, touch to start this. Yeah. And we'll hit that. No name. Are we going to add a name? Ah, there we go. Get my name on the Tron Magic, well, Tron Band, I guess. So there's a order. I guess I have to buy it now. <laughs> I don't even know what I bought. It's just a band. I'm not even sure what's got my name on it. 
Here we are on Carousel of Progress. Florence here. Progress. Your daughter's here too. Progress. There's a great big beautiful tomorrow. Tomorrow's just a dream away. Man has a dream and that's the start. He follows his dream with life. inspired Epcot and a lot of the visionary ideas throughout Walt Disney World. Look, there's even a tiny people mover. I wonder if that means there's a tiny boy. Spacecraft to monster. There's really nothing like today in tomorrow. There's Tron. I was just on that not too long ago. That's such an awesome ride. I can't wait to go on it again. Fail. Fail. Nope. This has been a dream of mine for so long. <laughs> oh, man. I was just thinking about how I need to go on this ride like 50 times in a row just to see the lights come on. Hey, we got lucky right there. Here's Tron again. Oh, Ryan's going to try the high five. Oh, no, he's not. No high five this time? No high five this time? No, I didn't put my arm all the way up. Here. High five. Oh, high All right, five. there we go. We got high it. Five. High five, Kate. There we go. That's the money shot of the castle. That's the partner statue. Good to see you again. It's been a while. And it looks like we might be getting a little bit of rain here soon. What do you think there, Sporn? Think right. we're going to get some rain? It's amazing we haven't gotten it yet. It feels great, though. I it love does. this. I love this temperature change. It's a nice breeze, but if you look over there. Yeah. Uh, it actually looks like a tornado. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right, right next to this uh, twisty uh, topiary. How's it going there, Chip? How's it going there, Dale? Which one is which? I don't know which one is Chip and which one is Dale. Like going into Adventureland, and I'm reminiscing about chicken and waffles. I like chicken. Yeah, those are good. Of course, a Dole Whip would be good right about now. And there's Skipper Canteen. We went there a couple years back. It was really good. It's kind of funny how when you're hungry, you start looking at restaurants everywhere. <laughs> you, just, you just start seeing them everywhere. Mm -hmm. Where's the nearest food? And I had to stop off here at Aloha Isle Refreshments because I needed a Dole Whip. <laughs> Bad. Oh, it's, le it's leaking already. Oh, I better eat it fast. All right, I think we're going to go on Pirates of the Caribbean, but I wanted to go over here. There's something over here I want to see. It's these guys here, these, these skull things that you have to go over around the side over here and get a map and then you can do this scavenger hunt thing and this is part of it. They, they tell you to find, I guess, the, the thing. Yeah, they, you probably have to find the pizza right there. You have to find that and then you find the skulls and then you have, go, have to go on some other scavenger hunt. Have you heard of this? I, I think we may have done this when my son was like three. It's one of these like hidden things that you can do here at Disney that people don't even know about, including me. Ooh, scary. Will's over there. No, you're firing at Will. You're not firing at Jack. Oh, jeez, you're getting, getting splashed with cannon fire. He's right there. You still haven't found him after all these years. And now, my favorite part of this whole experience, the gift shop. Oh, that's definitely trouble. I'm looking at this really cool ship playset here, but I don't see any action figures or anything. They're in there. Why would you not put them out where you can see them? I guess maybe they want you to buy this extra set over here. And very randomly, they seem to have Indiana Jones fedoras here. That's 
kind of interesting and the price is $57 there. The only problem is I'd have to get the whole ensemble. I'd have to have the, the shirt, the jacket, and the, the whip, everything else to make this work. Just wearing the hat by itself, it just, it doesn't work. I still want one though. And they've even got some more Indiana Jones stuff here, some uh, action figures, puzzle, snakes, I hate snakes, sword from Temple of Doom, and a torch from uh, Last Crusade, maybe? I don't know. I don't even know what this is from. Found the whips. And the torches. Mm, mm, whips and the torches, mm. that's not how that works. And this whip is $49, and it does not smell like leather. Don't buy it. No, I'm not gonna buy it. It's not real. We there we go. There we go, right there, just like that. That works. There's something wrong with your teeth? Not anymore. Ah, okay. Come on, Kate, let's go. Mm, mm, mm. Careful. Oh, that's so hard. That's so hard. Mm. Ah, you're not supposed to actually hit me with the sword. Jeez. Let's do a little jungle cruising. Yeah, they got apples here. And bananas. I don't think I've ever seen this before. It's the Jungle Cruise. Sponsored by Ziploc. I got that one. Oh, my Okay, if Big Thunder Mountain is only 15 minutes, heck yeah, I'll do it all day long. I'll, I'll do it all day long. So for my 50th birthday, I rode this five times in a row, and I probably waited 45 minutes to an hour each time. I basically spent the entire day here riding this ride because it is my favorite. It's my favorite, probably my favorite ride of all time. Definitely my favorite coaster of all time. Here we go. It's the cave and the top of the hill here. They used to have water, but they don't have water anymore. Whoa! It's so dark, I can't see anything. Whoa! Oh, look at that over there. Look at that. Oh! Ah! And then there's the top of the Big Thunder Mountain. Oh boy, this is a rough one. This is a hard one. Whoa, hold on, hold on. Totally different experience at night. Oh. Look out for the bones. Whoa. All right, well, there's some construction work being done on the former Splash Mountain ride, now going to be Tiana's Bayou Adventure. And uh, looks like they're, well, it's lit up. I don't think they're actually doing any work, but uh, you can see the scaffolding and everything up there. No water down here, though. It's kind of interesting. 
Oh, there is a lot of people waiting for this uh, nighttime show here at the castle. I just want to get over to Tron to take a quick look at it before I head out. Oh, there it is. And there's fireworks popping over there. Well, that scared me. I'm more interested in seeing Tron at night, though. Quiet down there, fireworks. Oh, I hear screaming. There it goes. Woo! It's so cool how these little sections light up as it goes by. Good fireworks shots right here. Oh, I don't know what happened. All the lights just went out. I guess we're supposed to be looking at the fireworks now. This is interesting. Okay, now it's back to normal again. from Magic Kingdom at the Tron Light Cycle Run Ride. This is Greg signing off as I am listening to fireworks pop overhead. Look at this, there's fireworks back there too. I finally did it. I did Tron. I got to see Space Mountain with the lights on. That was so cool. That's a good shot right there of the fireworks. Wow, this is, this is perfect. This is amazing. That's such a great shot right there. Well, that is, there we go. Boom, that's a good shot. All right, Greg signing off. Thank you for watching. Take care and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. I won't forget you, Space Mountain. I won't forget you. Hey, there, look, there's Tron again. Oh, there we go. Fireworks with Tron. Let's draw a logo. That's perfect.